Here's a junky little GE tube AM FM clock radio from around 1965 or 66. This is a little bit nicer model than the uh, one we featured uh, in a previous video. Um, I believe the model number on that one was C1525. Uh, this one here is a little bit nicer model. It features a lighted dial clock and a uh, snooze button. And um, the uh, cabinet is somewhat jazzed up a little more on this model than on the other one. But, you know, the uh, chrome plated knobs and all that have pretty much tarnished on this one. This is one of the radios that came from the estate sale. I think he ended up with somewhere around 30 or 35 of the radios. Somewhere around that number. And uh, I ended up with a, with a batch of them. And uh, last year I had a batch and I've got uh, gotten another batch here this, uh, this spring. So anyway, this is one of them here. And... Uh, this uh, isn't the best little radio. We all know GE was uh, extremely cheap on their construction. Looks like this one here is a model 1530. With it being a white one, that should be the, mo the correct model number there. Most of these uh, GE uh, tags or stickers from this era are usually so faded you can't hardly read them but uh, this radio has some issues so uh, I don't think I've even tried to plug this one up or do anything with it so let's uh, see if I can't find a uh, two pin power cord and let's apply power and see what happens maybe it'll blow up that'll make a good video and here's the radio with the back cover removed. Um, this, like the other one, is a hybrid set. It, and um, I'm seeing a lot of Japanese parts in this thing. So I guess this is uh, right about around the time when uh, everybody started going to Japan. So anyway, uh, let's... Uh, Let's apply power to this thing and see what happens. Alright, we have tube illumination. And I don't hear a single thing. The set appears to be totally dead. Oh, well, it's lighting up. But uh, this tube here, I don't see it glowing. And uh, I don't know about you, but that looks like it's uh, gone to air. That's one of them realistic uh, tubes and lifetime, realistic lifetime tubes made in Japan. All right, we got another 35W4 put in it. Replacement. I have never ran across a GE, a realistic, excuse me, a realistic lifetime tube that was ever any good. I think the ones that I've found that haven't gone to air are always weak or almost dead. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire up. I don't know if the cord is not plugged in or what. Okay, we have tube illumination now. Sounds like we have a bad filter capacitor. This cord is loose.
Well, I hear a sickle coming in. Well, I hear a blip of something, so that's promising. We got a little bit of reception coming in over that hum, but uh, uh, like all these sets, uh, I don't think I've ever ran into a GE set from this era that didn't have a bad filter cap in it, and I'm sure it's one of them junky general industry ones too. Okay, we got our uh, filter capacitor replaced, and I also replaced a, a few more capacitors in here. And every time I move this, this thing comes unplugged. Right. All right. Jack, so we got our. Um, I'm Jack Callahan. News radio. This filter. I mean, this cap here, and then there's a little small, couple of small little electrolytics. There's one back there, and of course our filter cap. I cleaned up the cab and it took it apart. You know, got the cab and the inside of it pretty much well pretty well cleaned up uh, I don't know if I pointed it out at the very beginning of the video but it's a dual speaker radio so anyway got the cabinet cleaned up the top of it looks a lot better every time I move this around that cord comes out but uh, it's working doesn't seem to be any problems uh, I think this lighted dial this thing is out uh, the bulb and I may have some fluorescent bulbs around here somewhere. It seems like I have some somewhere, but <laughs> I've got to locate them, and I haven't seen them for a while. I'm not sure the size of them, whether they'll fit in there or not, but uh, uh, it'd be kind of neat to get that, that lighted dial going again. Um, I washed up our little clear face plates here that go over here and the clock. So I'll have to put that back together and put the hands back on the clock and all that because I haven't, uh, I had to take all that uh, uh, out to uh, to get this thing out, to get the whole everything, the clock and all pulled out so I could clean the cabinet real good. And um, anyway, so we got that to do, but uh, at least it's working. Here's the front of it with a little cleanup. Um, some sort of white crap on the dial scale there but uh, I got our knobs cleaned up they were turning a little green anyway uh, took a little uh, steel wool to those real light steel wool and clean those up and, uh, got it uh, got those shining back again so it looks a little bit better and this cabinet a little bit of clean up uh, this knob is missing and it was missing when I got it so well, I don't have a replacement for it and I may be able to go through my junk and find something that uh, you know is not matching but will function anyway let's see if this thing's working This cord has a habit of slipping out. And this dial pointer don't want to stay lined up. It kind of flip flops around. It's working. To remove the barrier. To remove the barrier. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25. station broadcasts two parts of the dial or two different FM frequencies it also broadcast on AM don't know why they need to be have that much coverage 
budget director says we should have compassion not just for the people in social programs but for the team. What you're saying? Sure. I mean, I, I think that's a, a really... See what's on AM. Now, I've been fighting with the power company out here for about three and a half, four weeks on this power line buzz that you hear on my radio. And, um, been wreaking havoc around here and I made about I made the fourth phone call today about it and they supposed to send somebody out but I ain't seen nobody yet so I'm gonna have to stay on them about it it's worse at different parts of the dial it seems to be worse at the lower end for some reason all the other stations are off the air no they're there at least one of them not coming in very well see the seat listen and here's the deal when you're in and when you're not god inside my no that's not a local station that's the one about 35 miles away. Yeah, I guess the two other local stations must be off the air. 1240 and 1290 are both off the air. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Usually it's nothing for 1290 to be off the air, but 1240 to be off too, that's kind of unusual. I'm not going to put a whole lot more work into this set. We'll pretty much leave it at that. But uh, anyway, this is my GE clock radio. Was it a C1530 from about 1965-66 hybrid uh, clock radio with the uh, solid state front end on it. As it says, solid state tuning. So, uh... We'll leave it at that one. Thanks for watching.